The time has come to give the EK Special Edition 3080FE water block a good clean in preparation for my next build video. I've been using this block pretty intensely for the past 10 months or so, and I've been a bit disappointed with some staining and a couple of other strange looking spots. And going by other reports on Reddit, this is not an uncommon issue for EK and their nickel plating. I've been using the EK Cryofuel Clear Coolant, which should be the best choice for a low maintenance setup. I got in touch with EK and they assured me that these stains are normal. There's a tiny gap between the acrylic top and the metal surfaces of the water block, coolant gets inside and tends to create a halo or rainbow effect. I also noticed some strange rusty looking spots and when I asked about those I was told it was most likely o-ring oil and that I can disassemble the water block to give it a clean. I find this to be disappointing for such a high-end product, but nevertheless, nothing was amiss, so today we're going to give it a clean and see how many of those stains will indeed go away. Let's jump straight into the disassembly. Here we have the 3080 Founders Edition PCB, and as you can see we did get some sweating underneath the EK thermal pads, no doubt due to the high temperatures of the GDDR6X memory chips, which do tend to get quite hot. Since I have it open, I'll be replacing the thermal pads as well. Taking a closer look at the water block and the jet plate, we notice some additional acrylic pieces holding the jet plate down. Inside the top cover we find the RGB strip, but what impressed me the most about this design is how no screws go into the acrylic, instead the acrylic piece is sandwiched between this top piece and the cold plate, which in turn compresses the o-ring. Time to start cleaning. To start off, a quick test with some common swabs and soapy water, just to see how persistent some of these stains really are. Here we have the o-ring itself, which I will also clean to get rid of that EK grease that is now stuck to the acrylic. It's very hard to get rid of this particular staining, but by going over it multiple times, it does eventually go away. Moving on, it was time to bring out some serious cleaning tools, a toothbrush and some charcoal toothpaste. Some of the stains, however, didn't seem to go away fully, not even after some persistent brushing. Here we are, not quite brand new, but definitely an improvement. I used distilled water for a final rinse, and I blow dried the water block to get it completely dry. But as you can see, there are still some very stainy looking spots. I wonder if that's why EK came up with the old metal version of this water block. No stains if you can't see inside, right? A while back, someone mentioned they wanted me to do a face reveal. Here you go. I hope you like it. Right, the thermal pads. Well, that was quick. Before I go, here's one more thing for sticking with this until the end. A quick preview of my next build video, featuring the freshly cleaned block. 